The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. When solving this equation using the quadratic formula, the temptation is for students to say that a equals 1, b equals 5 halves, and c equals negative 7 halves. This method, however, will cause some problems because you'll be dealing with a lot of fractions within the quadratic formula. As a first step to this problem, I would go ahead and get rid of the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. That gives us 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 equals 0. So a equals 2, b equals 5, and c equals negative 7. Watch out for your negatives when finding a, b, and c. Now what I'd like you to do is solve this problem from here using the quadratic formula. And to give yourself time, press the pause button on the video, which is located right about here. Solving this problem from here, you should find that our solution is 1 negative 7 halves.